British scientist Stephen Hawking has died, aged 76, following a long struggle with motor neuron disease. He was diagnosed with MND when he was just 22 and was given only a few more years to live. The illness left him in a wheelchair and largely unable to speak, except through a voice synthesizer. Imaginary time. People think it's something you have in dreams or when you're up against a deadline. But it's a well-defined concept. Imaginary time is like another direction in space. Despite that, he continued to produce some breakthrough work on black holes and the theory of cosmology. According to his website, Hawking worked on the basic laws which govern the universe. With Roger Penrose, he showed that Einstein's general theory of relativity implied space and time would have a beginning in the Big Bang and an end in black holes. These results indicated that it was necessary to unify general relativity with quantum theory, the other great scientific development of the first half of the 20th century. On the goal of his work, this is what Hawking said. My goal is simple. It is a complete understanding of the universe, why it is as it is and why it exists at all. His wagers on scientific theories are famous, often losing to fellow scientists on speculations regarding black holes. He was also known for his sense of humour. You've stated that you believe there could be an infinite number of parallel universes. Does that mean that there is a universe out there where I am smarter than you? Yes, and also a universe where you're funny. <laughs> right. In 2014, an Oscar-winning movie, The Theory of Everything, was made about his life. The world will remember him as the greatest mind of this generation. <laughs>